Larkin and Mark Shifley. I'm early because I got to change my audio. There we go. We're all set on that. Shifley to Niederreiter. As I had to figure some shit out early. Shifley scores. Wow. Well, okay. Pause the game next time, you jackass. James Reimer had not allowed a goal in his first game with a winged wheel. Mark Shifley in the first minute. But that's probably a little bit more my fault than Reimer's. Now we'll uh, now we'll just play. Face off one by Larkin, sent over to Cider. Gostas Bear going to send it around the boards. Going to be picked up by Alex to brink it. Down low to Cider. Mo Cider moving in on the backhand. Pad save. Hellebuck. Need a rider. Dumps it in over the head of Alex to brink it. Going to find a streaking Robbie Fabry. Robbie Fabry is in around Brendan Dillon. Going to cut. We got to brink it in the middle. Score! Game tied up just like that to brink it again. Eighth goal on the year. Well, this is a great goal. The goal score is you can't give a goal scorer like Alex to brink it that kind of space right in the slot. Eighth goal on the year for the Cat. And that is good for the league lead as things stand. His eighth goal, two goals scored. Not even two minutes into this game. Cider can't get it up the wing. Here comes Shifley, scored once already. Gostas Bear couldn't get it. Shifley making moves behind the net, a backhand. Larkin slips up to Cider, pass. Does not find its intended target into Alex to brink it. Niederreiter knocked away by Cider. Gostas Bear, we got a cluster happening here. Michael Rasmussen picks it up. He's sent into the boards by Pionk. Wanted to repay the favor, wasn't able to. Mason Appleton on Ole Mata. Appleton on Reimer. We'll play that into the corner and Michael Rasmussen. Ole Mata able to send it up or take it up, up the ice now. Mata moving in on the backhand shot. Comfort couldn't get the rebound. It's still loose. Healers up to Gabe Velarde. Hit by Rasmussen. And look at this. Ole Mata has a ton of space. Just no help. Back. Rasmussen shot. Blocked in front to Mello. Healers. Siders. I don't know if he's still on the ice. What a die block by Clem Costin. Gabe Velarde pass. Scores. Healers. A cluster of a game early. 400th career point for Nikolai Ehlers. What a weird backhand pass. Point for Gabe Velarde on that. Now Cop and Lowry. Cop wins it. Wallman slips up to the newly brought up. Taro Hirose gonna send it back. Cop. Oh, it's not. Uh, it's not Hellebuck. In net. I didn't see the name, but it wasn't Hellebuck. All right. Well, that explains things. How he scored so easily. Cop and Lowry again. Back to Jeff Petrie. Couldn't get that shot through. Now Aya follow. Hit hard by Jake Wallman, but then Wallman abandons the boards, and that'll be an icing charge to Detroit. Bring it back down in front of James Reimer. So it's a backup goalie game. I have, uh, excuse me, Aya follow did not have a good time on that one. Cop and Lowry, round three. One by Lowry. Back to Schmidt. Blocker saved by Reimer. 
Wasn't able to get it to Wallman. Wallman with a hit on Schmidt. Now Taro Hiroshi drops it back to the point. Jake Wallman, Petrie. Had some pressure on him right away. That hits a skate. So no icing. Hiroshi with a little bit of a check. Top line back out there for Detroit. Gustafson turns around, finds Schmidt. Now Aya follow. Poke checked away. Larkin hit. Justin Hole. Pass at Mrs. Robbie Fabry. Now Nino Niederreiter. DeMello knocked down by Hole. When he gets a hold of somebody this season, it just feels like it's inevitable. It's going to be a big one. Fabry is around. Going to try and find the captain. Larkin hits a skate in front. And it stays out. Remains a 2-1 Winnipeg lead. Kyle Connor on Ole Mata. Not able to get past Mata. Mata will find Larkin. Pretty tired. Intercepted. Intended for Fabry. Niederreiter. Pressured by Fabry to dump that in. Sider going to have to... Well, I tried to send that around the boards. Uh, not really the smartest pass there. We got Goss to spare standing still. That's my bad. Shot and a save on Kyle Connor by James Reimer. Valeno and Velarde to the right of Reimer. Not won by Valeno. Chisholm with a shot. That misses the net. And all the way back out. Picked up by Stanley for Winnipeg. Mason Appleton over to Gabe Velarde. Velarde looking, finds Ehlers. It's loose in front, picked up by Sider, up to Chris Fisher. We have a penalty upcoming. It's a trip on Winnipeg. Fisher going to take the shot, rebound to the boards. Bergren, Sider winds up. Debrinkit couldn't get it on the backhand, and Detroit will go to the power play. Nikolai Ehlers. He scored a goal, but now he goes to the box. Two minutes for tripping at 9.07 of period one. Forty-one percent on the power play this season for Detroit. Hiroshi, that shot's blocked. Bergeron couldn't get it back to Hiroshi. Gostas Bear going to wait for some help. Back to the point, Bergren. Jonathan Bergren, poke checked away, Barron. And send it over the head of Hiroshi. Detroit will have to reset. I tried to find JT Comfer. We're going to find him eventually anyway. Comfer, drop pass, Klim Kostin, shot, glove save, Salminen for Winnipeg. At least I'm assuming that's how you pronounce that name. I'm not entirely certain. I was ready to face Connor Hellebuck. Comfer and Mason Appleton. One by Appleton. Good play by Klim Kostin to keep that alive. That's a bad pass, however. Gustafson might have a breakaway for Winnipeg. He does. And Reimer keeps it out. Comfer to find Bergeron. Great save on one end. Goal on the other. No. That puck just popped up in the air as Hiroshi finishes his check. Gostas Bear with it. Going to find Bergeron in stride. Jonathan Bergeron spinning, turning. Comfer in front. Oh, still had it. Back to Hiroshi. Shot, blocker, save. Appleton to the corner and out. Picked up by Gostas Bear. Bergeron with some ice on the far side. Going to play that around the boards. Klim Kostin will retrieve it. I tried to find the point to the far side. And JT Comfer. Little wrist shot on a play that I didn't really want to happen that way. Finds the back of the net, third of the season. For the free agent acquisition. That's an assist for Clem Costin. You'll love to see him getting points. And uh, just tied up the Winnipeg netminder. Ninth point for Comfer, second on the team. Gostas Bear with two tonight. Up to 11. Face off one by Larkin. We're going to dump that in with Olimata. Larkin is going to be over there to retrieve it. Larkin moving in. Fabry with a poke check. 
Nearly kept that play alive. Brendan Dillon, Ehlers, hit by Justin Hole. Quick pass, Ole Mata, tied up at the line, and Debrinkit carries that puck offside. Who crossed the line on that? What happened here? Two goals on nine shots for Detroit. No idea why the score bug's down there. Um, when the puck crosses the line... Oh, Mata. Mata was the puck carrier. Got stick lifted and then just couldn't hold the line. All right. A lot of hits for Winnipeg, but Detroit's had the puck a lot, so that makes sense. Six minutes to go here, first period, and a 2-2 tie. Appleton. Cross ice. Ehlers. Hole. Justin Hole, man. Broken play. Trying to find a brink it, and he's offsides again. Tried to hold him up, just couldn't stay on the blue line. Larkin and Shifley with Fabry, Debrinkit, Mata, and Hole. Tried to drop it back. Look at this. Dylan Larkin is up the middle. Dylan Larkin moving in. Backhand. Save. But Larkin retains possession for Detroit. Hole. Shot. Rebound in front. Fabry can't win it. Pionk turns the corner and will bring it up for Winnipeg. Pionk crossing the ice. Chased down by Hole. Shifley, Connor, that's blocked in front. Larkin gets stick lifted. Need a rider to Connor. Brendan Dillon, that shot. Turned aside. Robbie Fabry, look at this on the break. Robbie Fabry is around Dillon. Going to try for Debrinkit. Couldn't get it to him. The heavy hitter defenseman, Justin Hole, turns and fires. Wallman picks it up. Back to Fabry. Hole going to try again. Scores off the goalie stick. Justin Hole. A little wrist shot. I don't know if that got deflected on its way to Hole. I don't think so. Sal Minen just off the underside of the stick. And down it goes. Three first period goals for the De for the uh, Detroit Red Wings. Two forty eight remaining. Cop wins it to be sent in by Petrie, retrieved by Taro Hirose on the backhand, still loose in front. Barron brings it up for Winnipeg. He gets collapsed on. Cop slips it or er, slipped ahead to Cop, turning, finds Jeff Petrie. Shot, rebound, Hiroshi, a near side save, off the post, and stayed out. Pion got hit hard, and I think he's gonna have to answer for that. It is Cole Perfetti who steps up. I thought he was on Nashville. Jeff Petrie in on the fight, and uh, that's a pretty easy one. Pionk is down, writhing in pain, and Perfetti and Petrie fighting basically over the top of him. Well, their first period's over. Face-off is won by Comfer. Sent in by Sider. Rasmussen, look at that! Oh, Comfer, that was a nice play. <clears throat> Finally getting some chemistry with this team, learning how to play this new game. Sider around the boards. Comfer slips it ahead to Shane Gostisbehere. The defenseman moving in in the final seconds. Gostisbehere, Comfer on the backhand. Rasmussen with another try. And Winnipeg will play it, and that is how the first period will end. There's the horn for period number one as it comes to an end. We've got lots more action. Two more thirds of this one to go. Stay with us. Uh, pretty weak goaltending performance from Winnipeg. Uh, 19 shots to 11 there. I know we had a flurry of shots, but um, 
two wrist shot goals go in. Uh, the one that goes off the stick, the, cl the, the the I think the only really clean goal was uh, DeBrinkett's. Just in the slot, little wrist shot found its way in the net. We're passing there in that first period better than we have in any game, I think, to this point this year. 84.3% there in that first period. One for one on the power play. Our power play numbers continue to be great. And uh, 12 hits. We're getting out hit, but we have the puck twice as much as they do. Oh, a little wrist shot from JJ. All goals on wrist shots. I mean, we just don't get slap shot goals with this team. But I think that has more to do with the game than it does for anything else. Ugh. Catch my breath. Jesus. Beating Winnipeg on the faceoff dot. That pass from Fabry to Debrinkit was just like... Really? They're going to leave Alex Debrinkit wide, wide open in the slot like that? Yes, please. Pionk is out for the rest of the game. Larkin and Shifley. One by Shifley. Niederreiter. Now Brendan Dillon. The defenseman makes his way in around. The goal scorer. Kyle Connor had it. Turn over to Dillon Larkin. Larkin around the net. Going to glide. Shoot. Off the pad. Salmonen once again with the save. Slipped ahead. Kyle Connor on Shane Goss to spare. Turned over in front of Reimer. Get that puck far away so no funny business can happen. Slipped up to Robbie Fabry. We got another fight opportunity. Fabry, Goss to spare with a shot in front. Shifley to the far side. Kyle Connor, he's stepped up on. Here comes Alex to bring it. To bring it. Center to Larkin. The pass was behind him. Kept in by Rasmussen. Rasmussen going to try and find a brinket. That hit a skate on its way through. Shifley will dump in to retri be retrieved by Shane Gostisbehere. Rasmussen going to send it back around to Gostisbehere. We got Mo Sider up on the rush. Going to try and center for Perron. And DeMello puts it in his own net. That is the second goal on the season for Moritz Sider. What was Dylan De DeMello thinking on this? It looked like he just backhanded it into his own net. Just skating, skating, skating. Gets it on his stick and... I guess he kind of runs into his goalie and that stuns him a little bit and he loses the puck. Make it a 4-2 Red Wing lead. Tie up on the faceoff. Appleton to Ehlers. Hole couldn't make that hit. Perron did it first. Rasmussen couldn't get by Chisholm. Here comes Gabe Velarde. Ehlers. Missed hit by Holes. Tried to center. That went off the stick of Comfer. Hole gets it up to Rasmussen. Michael Rasmussen going to drop it back. Perron shot in a blocker save. Hole. Mata. Slap shot turned aside in front by a block. Comfer. That's blocked in front. Perron couldn't get it. Velarde. Over to Appleton. Hit hard by Mata. Hole. Did not allow Ehlers by, and he'll play it around for JT Comfort. Slipped up to Klim Kostin, the big body of Klim Kostin moving in. Shot, pad save. Andrew Kopp enters the zone. Kopp fighting. Now Jake Wallman. Wallman moving in, blocked in front. Stanley harassed by Bergren. Lowry for Winnipeg brings it to center. Gustafson. Bouncing puck. Winnipeg will retain possession. Cop with a big hit. Aya Follow couldn't enter the zone cleanly. And a weird bounce that finds Reimer, and he will have to hold on. 4 2 game. 12 23 to go. There's that big hit by Andrew Cop as he stays towards the top of the league in hits. Moving into third. 
As Morant Sider continually leads the league. Couldn't get that off the drop. Good defense by Taro Horosi. DeMello, cross ice. Former Red Wing Vladislav Nemestikov with the shot. Andrew Kopp makes his way around. Off a skate as it was intended for Taro Horosi. Barron finds Brendan Dillon. Brendan Dillon turning, finding DeMello. Wings a bit of a mess defensively. Here comes Cole Perfetti. Perfetti moving in on the backhand. It's tapped in by Barron. 4-3. Morgan Barron, second of the year. Wings defense just standing around. Not much, uh, not much resistance on that. Petrie's got his back turned. It's right in between his legs. He has no idea. The third Winnipeg goal of the game. Cole Perfetti's third point. Barron's second. Now Valeno and Perfetti. One by Valeno. To be dumped in by Wallman. Off of Jonathan Berggren. DeMello finds Perfetti. Vladislav Nemesnikov hit hard. But the Red Wings just stop. Gonna find, well, tried to find Joe Valeno on the far side. It's gonna wind up being an icing after the bad pass from Jeff Petrie. Another big Red Wings hit. Petrie that time. Now that I finally figured out hitting, it's just I agree with the, the sentiment of the people that figured it out a lot earlier than I did. It's just so much more satisfying. Shot and scores. Brendan Dillon. Tied this game off the faceoff from the point. And the first of the year for the defenseman. Off the icing. Well, we're in a fight exactly halfway through this game. Eight combined goals. Shifley finds Connor. Back to Dillon. Into Shifley. And Berggren will bring it to center for Detroit. In a center. Petrie lost it. Picked up by Shifley. <clears throat> Wallman couldn't get Connor. Dumped in by Kyle Connor, retrieved by Jeff Petrie to the captain, Dylan Larkin. Larkin around the net, couldn't get the shot away. Debrinkit poked it away from Dylan, but Dylan got it up to Connor. <clears throat> now Niederreiter, Mark Shifley, shot, save, still loose. Debrinkit for Detroit. Wallman going to dump that in. Not sure if Larkin's going to be able to get there. He's pretty tired. DeMello going to turn and skate back. I follow. Poke checked away. Fabry. I'd like if my team would just change lines. Not sure if they're doing that or not. Cross ice, Jeff Petrie. Sent in, retrieved by Alex to bring it. To bring it, moving in. Shot, it's up in the air. Sent over the net. One by to bring it again. Gonna go cross crease. Didn't get to him. To bring it. Hit hard. Ooh, Gustafson rocked by Moritz Sider. Sider has to answer for it. That was a perfectly clean hit. Stanley didn't like it. And the response from Winnipeg. The second fight and the second fight win. For the Red Wings this time, and it's Stanley and Sider going to the box. Another late period fight. They'll more than likely get the rest of this period off. Comfort and Velarde. Red Wings have blown a two-goal lead. Chisholm finds Appleton, now Ehlers. 
Hole misses the hit, center to Appleton, and a save by Reimer. To be played by Hole. Passes behind Rasmussen. Rasmussen will get it in deep. We got a rolling puck. Chisholm cross ice to Cole Perfetti. Now Mason Appleton on JT Comfer. Could not get around. That hit a skate on its way to Comfer. <clears throat> Ehlers couldn't get into the zone. Puck is picked up by Justin Hole. Look at this, David Perron. Perron has space, tried to drop it back. Chisholm picks up the puck for Winnipeg. Gabe Velarde. Velarde, cross ice, hit by Perron, and we've got some broken glass. David Perron with a big hit. This has been our biggest hitting game thus far. Cider now towards the top of the league in penalty minutes just because he keeps hitting people and they take an offense to it. Face off one by Winnipeg. Kyle Connor, glove save, Reimer. Played to Gostas Bear. Look at this. Alex Debrinkit is. Oh, I thought. I didn't think there was a defenseman back there. Debrinkit had some weird things happen to him. Chisholm with the puck for Winnipeg. Cross ice, Niederreiter. Dumped in before Gostas Bear could get it to him. Debrinkit. Gonna bring it up all on his own. For whatever reason, Winnipeg is dropping four, but to bring it is into the zone. Larkin in front. Chisholm fights through both Red Wings to get that puck back. Connor brings it across center. Petrie will drop that back to Wallman. Now Petrie again. That was off a skate. Goodbye, home run. From just over center. Under a minute to go here in the second period. A tie game. Offense is cooled down. One by Cop, Sent around by Petrie. Hiroshi can't get there. DeMello for Winnipeg. Shifley. We have a penalty coming up on Detroit. Touched up by Wallman. What happened here? Charging on Andrew Kopp with only seven seconds to go in the period. Well, hard to see if that's a valid charge or not by that replay. Chris Fisher is playing center. We're just going to try and tie up. We do just that. Kyle Connor back to the point. Schmidt. Blocked, no, not blocked in front. Red Wings couldn't clear it. They kept shooting it into the boards, but we head to the third period, tied at four. Lots of hits in period number two. But the Winnipeg Jets storm back. It was a 2-1 game. We stretched the lead out to 4-2. And then two goals by Winnipeg. We only had... Five shots that period. That was one of our worst periods since we've uh, had the difficulty on its uh, current standing. Passing percentage dropped considerably. We were not very good that period. 12 penalty minutes aside. Minute 26 on the power play for us. Seven seconds for them, but they have a carryover power play into period number three. <clears throat> Well, I like this difficulty a lot better. <clears throat> it's not like it's not like All Star, where no matter what you do, you can be in close games, but you're gonna lose those close games. This just feels like a challenge, and Winnipeg is uh, right there with us. No team has separated themselves through two periods of play. We'll try to be the one that does here in the third. <clears throat> I 
It's just so much more fun when it's a challenge. <laughs> it's more than hockey. The Red Wings haven't used that line in 10 years. A minute 53 on the power play to start the third period for Winnipeg. <clears throat> Sider had his dump-in attempt knocked down. Larkin couldn't get in on Ehlers. That's poked away. Cole Perfetti turns. Fires intercepted by Jeff Petrie. No icing. Larkin's actually going to win that race. We got Bergeron in front looking to one-time that. Ehlers escaped the hit, cutting in. Bergeron, we got a hit in front. Sider wins that. Well, I tried to send it around the boards. That didn't work. But Larkin will send it in deep. Bergeron might have a chance at that, at least forcing him in deeper. Dead tired group of penalty killers here. Connor. Over to Ehlers. Big hit, Jeff Petrie, but Cole Perfetti still has the puck. Mark Scheifele, Niederreiter the say or the shot, and the save by Reimer. Larkin turned and fired it to center. Niederreiter will dump it in. <clears throat> Petrie is just all sorts of discombobulated. Valeno off the ass of Cole Perfetti. Now back to Niederreiter. Valeno, good defense there. That's intercepted by Shifley. Kyle Connor, Ehlers the shot. And a save by Reimer. Intercepted by Valeno. I didn't think it was going to be. Shifley moving in. We got to get this puck out. <clears throat> and Valeno will do just that. A change for the Red Wings. Shifley, poke checked away, Olimata. Olimata with stick lifted. Dropped it back, Justin Hole. Hole moving in. Lost the puck, couldn't get a shot away. Appleton. Sent to Hole. Justin Hole's got one goal already in this game. Cutting to the middle, shot loose in front. Sal Minin will cover as Hole buries over the top. Thirty hits to thirty-two. A heavy hitting game. Hole Mata shot into Sal Minen's belly pad, and we'll do it again. Cop with Costin and Hiroshi Mata, and Hole the defenders. Appleton making it through. Mata, Hiroshi, can't get that around. Appleton to DeMello. Knocked away by Costin. To Schmidt. Nice move by Schmidt and a shot. Saved by Reimer. Comp going to calm this down. Finding Justin Hole. Justin Hole moving in. Hole, oh, look at that. Oh, on the backhand. Hole going to wind up with the puck again. Justin Hole, another shot. Cop can't get the rebound. A backhand by guess who? Justin Hole, who was all over. That zone entry for the Detroit Red Wings. Wings can't retain possession in the offensive zone. It's Schmidt for Winnipeg. Goss to spare. We got a problem here. Lowry shot and a save. And we will take the face off. Face offs evening up. It's 15 13. Comfer and Lowry. Rasmussen. A very quiet night for David Perron. Goss Despair wins the puck. He's taken down. And Winnipeg. Commits the penalty, it's Gustafson. I don't know what it is with the AI and committing penalties in the offensive zone. It doesn't seem to make a lot of sense. Wings converted on their only power play of the game. Faceoff is won by Comfer. Controlled by Clem Costin. 
Rasmussen forced out to center. Got the puck here again. Michael Rasmussen, big Ras move again. Costin will send it. Well, I tried to send it back to the point. Red Wings have to go back to center. Barron takes it away from Fabry. Puck sent into the corner on a weird deflection. Fabry from behind the net to JT Comfort. Comfort gonna cross, looking for a lead score! Wrist shot! JT Comfort from the slot, the Wings lead. Second goal of the game for JT Comfort. I believe both are on the power play. Put a lot of weight into that one. A little knuckleball on its way to Sal Minen. Ends up on his ass. Comfer's 10th point. More points than any forward on this team. Comfer can't win it. DeMello to Brendan Dillon. Brendan Dillon, the defenseman, moving in. Intercepted by David Perron. Red Wings coming the other way. It is Perron and Rasmussen. Rasmussen with a shot in front. Turned aside. Here comes Hole. Shot is blocked. Picked up. Well, was picked up by Perron. Couldn't corral the bouncing puck. Sent into the corner by Brendan Dillon. Picked up by Oli Mata. Mata finding Rasmussen. He's got space on the far side of the ice. Michael Rasmussen going to center. Tried to find Debrinkit. Wasn't able to do so. Shifley. Missed hit by Olimata. Hole to send it around the boards. Picked up by Fabry. Mata to Larkin. Dylan Larkin dispossessed by Brendan Dillon. Kyle Connor taken out of the play by Olimata. Robbie Fabry up to Justin Hole, the defenseman who's been all over the ice today. Hole moving in. Brendan Dillon picks up the rebound for Winnipeg. Intercepted Larkin. Knocked away momentarily. Larkin gets it back. Going to try and center. Taken out of the play, I believe, is Fabry. Sider over skates. And now it's Appleton, but Sider makes up for it. Larkin with the puck again. In full stride. Dylan Larkin looking for some help. We only got four uh, Red Wings in the offensive zone here. We're going to settle that down. Take the shot. Glove save, Salminen. 9.46 to go, third period. 5-4 Red Wing lead. Truculence for Moritz Sider. Kopp and Lowry. Kopp will win it back to Gostas Bear. Sider looking for a lane off the back end of Klim Kostin. Justin move over enough. Big hit by Moritz Sider, and he has to answer for a legal hit again. Ayafalo going to step up this time. Sider's second fight of the game. Three defensemen for the Red Wings. Having to answer, and Sider eventually just overpowers Ayafalo. Three fights, three fight wins. Face-off one by Cop. Hole finds entry. Center to Costin and a save by Salminen. We've got the Bruins game upcoming. Like I said, I think we'll wait and do that one tomorrow. Nothing on the docket tomorrow. Face-off is one to hole. Shot in a stick save by Sal Minen. Centered to Kopp. Pressure for the Red Wings. Hole the shot. Oh, it was loose for Hiroshi. Red Wings couldn't bury it. Nemesnikov moving up. Dispossessed by Hole. Taro Hiroshi with the puck as the Winnipeg Jets were changing. Here comes Taro Hiroshi on the backhand. And a back gloves hand save on that backhand by Sal Minen. Oh, you don't want to get hit by Klim Costin. Good decision by 
Nemesnikov to get out of the way. Hiroshi with another chance. Moving in, it hit a skate in front. Nina Ryder for Winnipeg. Kyle Connor working on hole. It bounces off of hole. He's able to get it, and we had a flying Alex to bring it down the wing. And I waited too long. Bit of a messy play there. Kyle Connor, let's hope that doesn't come back to bite us. Hole not able to knock off. Connor, one timer! Hole picks it up. Fabry sent into the boards by Nino Niederreiter. Shifley on Goss Despair. Looking, Niederreiter shot. It's loose in front and a penalty again. With 5.09 to go, third period. Nino Niederreiter to the box. Let's settle in. We score here. We can end this. Once again, 200 feet away from their own net. Doesn't make a lot of sense. Comfer and Appleton. Won by Comfer. Robbie Fabry looking. Missed the net. Bergren to Costin. Shot was tipped. Won by Bergren. Bergren moving and scores! Jonathan Bergren! Six, four Red Wings. On the power play, it's Bergeron. Boy, these last two games, when I was thinking of taking him out of the lineup, Bergeron has really proved to be amazing for us. His second goal, I believe in two games, for a bottom six forward, that's pretty nice. Winnipeg's got to go now. It's Chisholm to Lowry. Lowry finds Gustafson. Center, Nemestikov. Shot and a save by Reimer. Reimer will play it to hole. Peron poke checked away and runs into Comfer. It's going to force it offside on that clusterfuck. Winnipeg now leading in hits as the Red Wings have had possession for the last little bit. Lowry and Comfort, one by Comfort. Sent in by Mata. Peron finds Comfort. Saved by Sal Minen. Stanley for Winnipeg. Good pass to Lowry. Long shot and a tricky save by Reimer. Why does... Why does Kyle Connor win that matchup? Comfer wins the faceoff. Holes got it. Looking for a passing lane. We find David Perron. David Perron. We're just going to go around the net here. Going to shoot. It's up in the air over the net. Comfer might be able to rebound and get this. Back to the point. And Sider finds a lane. Misses the net. Bouncing puck corralled by Perron. Sent back to the point. Mata. Cider lost it. Poked deep. And we got a, I think we got a tripping call. Upcoming on Detroit. Yes, we do. So the wings will be shorthanded. JT Comfer. With a late trip. Second penalty on Detroit in this game. That isn't a fighting major. I would assume Winnipeg pulls the goalie so we can send this one deep down the ice and uh, probably have a chance to end this game. That's offside as Gustafson could not keep it in just to the other side of the blue line. Big hit after big hit after big hit in this game. Gabe Velarde. And Andrew Kopp, only three seconds killed off the Detroit penalty. Petrie with a long shot. They haven't pulled the goalie yet, believe it or not. Would have thought they would have. I have follow. Poked away at center. Andrew Kopp is just wreaking havoc. Here comes Andrew Kopp. Going to try and force the offensive zone. Face off or just score. That's fine, too. Andrew Kopp. 
A shorty. Cop just took over on that one, his second of the year. The poke check is really what screwed screwed the goaltender on this one. Just couldn't react, didn't know Cop even had the puck. But around the edge on Appleton, he got it back, corralled it, took the shot, top corner. And Sal Minen, if he's even still in the net, just was not in position. Well, now Winnipeg really needs something on this power play. Gabe Velarde stepped up on. Petrie sends it around. Chris Fisher will send it the rest of the way. Dylan Larkin going to move in. Shot. Fisher on the backhand. It's still loose. And Sal Minen will have to hang on. Larkin back at center. A lot of stoppages in this game. Hole couldn't win it. Or rather, Mata. Hole knocked down at center. Mata, we have a penalty coming up. Interference on Oli Mata. What's the penalty? Just a weird cluster. <clears throat> well, now Winnipeg can pull the goalie for a six on three advantage. Blocked by Petrie, sent to the blue line by Cider. I don't think the net is empty yet. Kyle Connor over to Ehlers. Cider breaks that up. Up to Petrie. Going to try and dump that in. The goalie is still in the net. Maybe with a three-goal lead. Oh, cop! Had that right in front. We got Ehlers. Shot on Reimer. Saved to the corner. Ehlers corrals. Gustafson. Shot is blocked. Petrie with it. And now another penalty. This time on Ehlers. So I think this is now a four on three. Four on three for 30 seconds. And the Wings will get a man back. Wallman shot, blocked. Bergeron trying to win it in front. Oh, Wallman teed one up. But it could not beat. The Winnipeg netbinder. Salminen's still in there. Face off one by Berggren. Finds hole. Shot. Did that hit him in the head? Berggren could not win it. Three seconds, two. We'll get one more hit in with hole. And the Red Wings win it. 7-4 the final score. Had to battle for that one. Blowing a two-goal lead in the second period. Entered the third period, tied at four. Wings just played better in the third period, took over and won the game. Sal Minen had a lot of bad breaks in this game. Hard to hard to put the loss on him. Couple goals for JT Comfer in this one. We'll take a look at the stars of the game. Mark Shifley with a goal and an assist to go with nine hits. He scored in the first minute of game time. Red Wings end up with 47 shots. JT Comfer, the second star. Two goals, two hits. And the first star goes to Robbie Fabry with four assists. 